Welcome to this presentation about the semantic interoperability framework from the Swiss Personalized Health Network, also called SPHN. SPHN is an initiative of the Swiss government to build an infrastructure for exchanging health and health-related data in an interoperable manner for research purposes. My name is Vasuna Touré and I am a scientific coordinator at the Personalized Health Informatics Group, who is coordinating the Data Coordination Center. SPHN is based on a three-pillar strategy where pillar one focuses on the semantics of the data. Concepts and their metadata are unambiguously defined while considering for existing medical standard terminologies. The second pillar builds on top of the semantics and focuses on their implementation into a flexible and formal representation for facilitating data storage and exchange. In SPHN, the format of choice is the resource description framework, also called RDF, from the semantic web technologies. The third pillar tackles the possible use cases and applications in healthcare and biomedical research. This talk mainly focuses on pillar two, how from the semantics we move into a formal representation. The Data Coordination Center is coordinating the infrastructure development for semantic interoperability and has built the SPHN dataset, which is an Excel file that defines the semantics of the data. From the SPHN dataset, an SPHN RDF schema is built to encode the semantics into a standard and flexible format. While initially this was a manual and tedious process, the dataset to RDF is a tool that has been developed to facilitate the transformation of the SPHN dataset into the SPHN RDF schema automatically. In addition, the DCC has developed several tools for automating the generation of RDF files for specific terminologies used for encoding values, for instance, with the DCC terminology service, Shackle rules for validating data against the schema definitions and restrictions with the Shackler. A human readable documentation of the RDF schema with the SPHN visualization tool. And finally, Sparkle queries for basic statistics and data exploration possibilities with the Sparkler. The different tools generating those semantic web technologies related content have been integrated into a web service called the SPHN Schema Forge for being one click away between an SPHN compliant Excel to the full stack of RDF related content. In SPHN, research projects have the flexibility to extend the semantics defined in the SPHN dataset for encoding elements that are not yet covered, but which are needed for project research purposes. Once this extension is done, they can use the schema forge to build, among other things, the project specific RDF schema and its corresponding shackle rules. These files are then given to data providers here, for instance, clinical data warehouses who will build the data in RDF according to the schema and then deliver them to the projects. On the implementation side, a couple of driver projects have already received data from different Swiss university hospitals and other partners between 2018 and 2022. The number of data points varies between millions and even billions of points. Since 2022, the national data streams have been launched and they are expecting data in RDF, and the purpose would be to build a common knowledge graph. So we can state that the SPHN semantic interoperability framework is being put into use in the Swiss community. Please find the references to the different tools and files mentioned during this presentation, which are open source and accessible on our DCC's GitLab instance. Thank you for your attention.